Welcome to the short demonstration of how to plan your day and take action using the action machine. So here we are at the beginning of our day and we've decided that there are six major tasks that we want to complete today. We want to work on a client project, we want to clear our inbox, we want to write a blog post for our blog, we want to create two new videos, we want to pay our bills and we want to organize our office. So we've got a pretty full day. So let me just go ahead and explain to you how and show you how to enter this information into the action machine and put it to use, okay? So we have our list of things that we want to do. Now the thing is, the next step is to decide how much time we want to spend on each action item. Okay, so let's go down through the list and as we take each item, we'll figure out how much time we want to spend to it and then I'll add it to our day's activities within the action machine, okay? So, first of all, we want to work on a client project, and we want to spend um, two hours on that, so 120 minutes. So we'll come up here to the Add an Action box right here, and we'll enter 120 for two hours. That's 120 minutes, and then we'll type in Work on Client Project, and then we can hit the plus button here, or just hit Enter, and you can see that this is added a timer to the interface, a 120 minute timer called work on client project. Okay, so that's the first thing we want to do today. Next thing we want to do, we want to clear our inbox. We want to spend 30 minutes doing that. So 30 minutes, clear inbox. Next thing we want to do is write a blog post. That'll take about 30 minutes. So we'll write blog post. Next thing we want to do is create two videos. We'll just set aside another two hours for that. Create two videos. And then we want to pay our bills. That'll take about 30 minutes. Pay bills. And then finally we want to organize our office. So we want to spend about 60 minutes organizing our office. So we'll type in 60 organize oops, office and now we have our six things listed alright and one of the things that you want to pay attention to now now that we have our day planned out is this total time here okay this total time shows six hours and thirty minutes now that's the the total amount of time when you add up all the time that we've set aside for all these six actions that's the time that it's going to take okay and if you look up here if you put your mouse over in this area it's currently 6.27 p.m. and if I put my mouse over this, if I were to start normally I would start this in the morning, this would probably be 6.27 a.m. but I'm doing this video in the evening so if this video, if I were to start the, this these set of actions, these six actions today the action machine, if I put my mouse over this area, says that it, I'll be able to complete them by 12.57 a.m. okay so that's six hour, and a half hours from right now. Now we could look at this and say, well, you know, six and a half hours, that's a pretty full day, but you know, I want to spend a good eight hours getting things done. And if there's something here that I can work on more, let's do that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to adjust the time here. I want to work on the client project. I'm going to add another hour to that. So I just click the 180 on the timer bar here. So now I have a total amount of time for my actions are seven hours and 30 minutes and I'm going to spend a little bit more time maybe on creating these videos I'm going to add 30 minutes to that and I can click on this little time slider and I'll move this over to two hours and 30 minutes so now I have an exact eight hours worth of actions for today represented in these six timers here okay so the first thing that I want to do now that I have all my actions uh, set out in the action machine and I have my day planned is I want to get to work and the way that I do that is I come up here to the first timer which is work on client project and I click the start button right there and it will start counting down from three hours which is what I've set aside for this project until it gets to zero okay and the idea is to work on this particular task this action and only this action for the next three hours until it's completed and I don't mess around with checking email I don't mess around with 
uh, logging into Facebook or Twitter or anything else like that and getting a drink I work solely on this project until the alarm goes off and then I move on to the next task which is my, clear my inbox spend 30 minutes doing that by clicking the timer letting it count down then once that's done alarm will go off I'll start the next task until I knock out all these different tasks for the day and I've taken action throughout the day now it's important to note that obviously this task is set aside I've set aside three hours for this and I wouldn't want to sit and do this for three hours without a break alright I want a break about every 30 minutes well the action machine can take care of that there's a slider right here that says 30 that's set for 30 right there you can see it that means 30 minutes and what that means is when this timer counts down from three hours to two hours and 30 minutes you'll get a notification and it's just a little sound to let you know that hey you've spent 30 minutes at work it's time to take a break okay so what you'll do when you, you're ready to take a break is you'll come over to this break timer on the action machine decide how much time you want to spend on your break whether that's five minutes ten minutes or thirty minutes if it's a lunch break and you'll click it let's say you want to spend five minutes so you click that and now the bar on the break timer will start pulsing to let you know that it's activated for five minutes and that clicking the break timer automatically paused the the timer that you were working on the actual timer of working on your client project and the way the break timer works is now you've got five minutes to check email or get a drink or whatever it may be that you want to do and this break timer will count down and once five minutes are up you'll hear an alarm to say hey breaks over it's time to get back to work once that happens I'm gonna manually do that because I'm not gonna sit here for five minutes but I'll go ahead and reset that and once that alarm goes off then you come back over to this timer and click the play button and start work again and once this timer hits passes another 30 minutes you'll get another notification to say hey it's another 30 minutes has passed and it's time to take another break and so on okay so that's how you manage long tasks using the action machine now finally what I want to show you is how you kind of track your progress now watch this part of the interface right here when I complete this timer I'm gonna do this manually because obviously you don't want to sit here for three hours waiting for this timer to go down I'm gonna go ahead and do this manually by clicking this button right here which completes the timer automatically and now the timer is completed you'll see a check mark to say hey you've done this time to move on to the next task but over here you'll see that uh, this part of the interface has updated and sometimes this area will update and that's explained in the user's guide in the videos as well how to use this particular part of the interface but you'll see that this number updated that lets you know how many actions you've completed and I went from 28 completed actions to 29 and what I can do also to track my progress is click this button right here which will generate a report and this report gives me all kinds of information about how I've spent my day uh, on various days Monday April 4th Saturday April 2nd and Friday April 1st and so on and it'll give me all kinds of information about those tasks that I've done how much time I've spent on them the total amount of time I've spent for the week on these various actions and so on so you get a lot of information just not overwhelming just enough to know and track your progress about how you're taking action okay so I'm gonna go ahead and close that and that is a demonstration of the basics of using the action machine there's a lot more to it and a lot of great useful tools for helping you to really manage your time like a pro and as I mentioned before that's all explained in the user's guide as well as some of the support videos that I provide so I hope this has been useful for you and that you've seen how to use the basics of the action machine and can really tell how this will help you to get things done alright so that's it for now and thanks for watching